Well, one of the biggest leaks in U.S. military history has exposed several cover-ups over the war in Afghanistan. It includes the deaths of hundreds of civilians. The whistleblowing website WikiLeaks handed over 90,000 classified documents to British, American and German newspapers. They also include information on increased Taliban attacks as well as NATO fears that Pakistan and Iran are fueling the insurgency. The White House says the leaked Pentagon files and field reports were no surprise, but that they do threaten national security. RT's Laura Emmett has more from London. It doesn't really come as a huge surprise, but it is more additional information that we, the public, now have about exactly what's going on in Afghanistan. These 90,000 documents relate to uh, the five years between the beginning of 2004 and the end of 2009, detailing uh, bits of the Afghan conflict that we previously had no idea about. Of course, uh, during the entire war, more than 320 British troops have been killed and more than 1,000 American troops. There's a lot in these documents about the toll that the war has taken on Afghan civilians. There are 144 separate incidents detailed in these files. Uh, some of those deaths come from controversial airstrikes that the Afghan government's already complained about, but some of them come from just uh, troops shooting and killing uh, random passers-by of motorists, uh, motorcyclists, just to protect themselves from, uh, from the fear of potential suicide bombers. Um, and altogether in these reports, there are details of 195 civilians having been killed and 174 wounded. And there's reason to believe that, that that's a huge underestimate for this period. There's also some information about Pakistan, which of course the US government gives a billion dollars a year to, to help them fight the insurgency in Afghanistan. Um, and the report suggests that the Pakistani spy service, in fact, hold secret meetings with the Taliban to uh, organize the militant groups that are fighting these U.S. soldiers. So Pakistan appears as alleged to be doing exactly the opposite of what the U.S. has asked it to do and is paying it to do. Well, this specific dossier, it's not clear where this came from, and Julian Assange won't discuss where these 90,000 documents came from. But we can uh, assume that it comes from some sort of inside source, merely because in April there was a, a similar leak, a video, uh, which Julian Assange of WikiLeaks put on his website, uh, which showed Apache helicopters essentially gunning down two Reuters cameramen on the streets of Baghdad. Now, someone has been arrested and charged with that, and he was Bradley Manning, only 22 years old, a military analyst who was working in Iraq. He's been charged with that, but he hasn't. It's not being suggested that he has any connection with these latest leaks. But of course, we're not the only ones who want to know where these leaks come from. The Pentagon is, of course, very concerned to know what has happened here and in fact requested to meet with Julian Assange outside the US so that he could talk to them about it. He so far uh, hasn't wanted to meet with them. RT's Laura Emmett right there. Well, to some in Afghanistan, the revelations themselves don't come as much of a surprise. But as Afghan MP Dawood Sultanzoy told us, what is interesting is that these key reports were kept secret. Facts are not new to me. The ones that, that I've read in the paper, uh, the, the situation on the ground, uh, the civilian casualties, the uh, way the operation is going, the criti critiques that have been made. Uh, and uh, um, I would be more interested in those things that are not published. And I would like to know what is it that is jeopardizing this operation, according to some politicians. Well, earlier, my colleague Kerry Johnston got more insight into the expose from RT military analyst Yevgeny Khrushchev and our crosstalk host, Peter Lavelle. All it says is that how gutless and culpable mainstream media has been covering these wars. Gutless is what I say. Most of this information you could have found out yourself if you just tried a little bit. Talk to witnesses. The internet exists. Oh my goodness. These stories are out there. The, it, it's just the government confirming to us that we've been lied about this war and we should listen to people on the ground. So I, I'm, I'm not surprised by this, but it shows that mainstream media has been reckless in covering these wars. I mean, why the context, uh, it also says, or some of these leaked documents suggest that there's Pakistani support for Again, the Taliban. Surprise, what, what do you surprise. Make of that? We you know second, about Peter. this. We know about this. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, you just watched Crosstalk. It was on Crosstalk. On we know seconds. about this. Yeah, you tell us. What do you think? Well, that, that was <clears throat> uh, one of the main challenges during the anti-Soviet jihad was the uh, Pakistani, not involvement, the Pakistani has been subcontracted their intelligence services, ISI, by the CIA. 
And that's the whole point. The whole trouble in Afghanistan regarding the insurgency, anti-Soviet insurgency, anti-American, whatever, anti-anybody insurgency in Afghanistan has been perpetrated, directed, and funded by the United States Central Intelligence Agency. They are their partners. The ISI and CIA, they're, they're just in cahoots. In 30 years ago, and the same thing. It's time to get out. It's time for the neighborhood to mend itself. This is an abject failure. The U.S. should get out now. No more review in December. This is the review. The review is, it's a disaster. Get out of Afghanistan.